Hey everyone, as I mentioned in my previous JBL soundbar video, I recently purchased the Samsung Q990C Atmos soundbar system and I am enjoying it a lot. The soundbar can be controlled through the phone using the SmartThings app and you can check the firmware version here. It would be in settings menu under information. The numbers displayed after the model number shows the version, which is 1002 in this case. I did a little research on Reddit and came to know that the latest version is actually 1004, but the app wasn't showing any. So to check the latest version of your soundbar, search for Samsung downloads on the Google. Here, I would suggest opening the site specific to your region to avoid any warranty issues due to upgrade process. As the unit I have is from India, I open the Samsung India website. Here you can search for your particular model and from the results tap on manuals and downloads. You can see that the latest firmware is actually 1004 from November 2023. The size of the file is around 1.2 GB. Now download the file to your computer or laptop. Once you have this zip file named firmware underscore USB, you need a pen drive or USB that has a sufficient space to store and extract this zip file. Even though it is not necessary to format the USB, I would suggest formatting it with file system as FAT32. Once the USB is ready, copy the file to the USB and then extract the zip file in the USB itself. Do not create extra folders to extract the zip. Let it extract in the folders as visible in the video. Do not change any file name or folder name as this would fail the upgrade process. After extraction, if you see these two folders available in the pen drive with the folder contents as shown in the video, then the USB is ready for update. On the Q990C, the USB port is located on the bottom and if we tilt it 90 degrees up, we can access the USB and the LED can be visible from the top. But as I had to shoot and show you what's displayed on the LED, I placed it tilted horizontally such that the port is exposed from the bottom and I can also capture the front display. It's up to you how to place the soundbar for the access of the USB port. First, make sure you turn off the soundbar by pressing the power button on the remote and it displays by. Connect the USB to the port and then power on the soundbar with the remote. If your soundbar supports USB playback, then use the source button on the remote to go to USB input. The Q990C I have does not support USB playback, so it should automatically detect the USB and update. If the soundbar doesn't show anything, disconnect the USB and connect it back. If your soundbar shows no data, then it is possible that you are using firmware update that belongs to some other model or there is a problem with the extraction. Either you did not extract the zip properly or you extracted them into an extra folder. So make sure that you followed the exact procedure I showed for the extraction. If you place the files correctly, it should show the message update on the LED display and the USB will start blinking. The soundbar will restart on its own for a couple of times and show update message when the process is ongoing. It even shows a white LED on the display while the process is going on. And once the process is successful, it will show DIN and the connection mode. The whole process will end with a message saying latest version. Once you see this message, head over to SmartThings app and check the firmware version in settings. As you can see, it is showing 1004 on my SmartThings app. That's it. You are now on the latest firmware version. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe for a detailed video of my experience with the Samsung Q990C. See you guys in the next one.